bigger, the better. This mantra has driven the evolution of cricket bats from a tool of precision to one of power. Except one outlier, responsible for two of cricket's most iconic knocks in the hands of the ingenious Brian Lara. A bat with a most peculiar feature, a distinctive scoop. But if bigger is always better, then why remove wood at all? For over a century, cricket bats have had the same general shape. A big, meaty spine along the central axis, tapering down to thinner edges that ensures enough power to send the ball racing off the middle of the bat. But the same bat can get a batter into trouble when there's a mishit. That is when the ball strikes the bat away from the central axis, away from where the mass is concentrated. The bat experiences torque, a twisting force, resulting in a mistimed, misplaced shot. Quite similar to an ab wheel with its mass concentrated at the center, it loses balance and topples more easily. As compared to a dumbbell, which stays put since its mass is distributed further from the center, thereby resisting torque. This ability of an object to resist torque is called its mass moment of inertia. Now, by applying a similar mass distribution, a unique bat was designed. Lo and behold, the scoop, cricket's quintessential showstopper. With a defining scoop in its spine, it chooses to compensate the edges instead, making the bat more immune to torque. This innovation in bat making greatly reduced the odds of a mishit and granted batters the gift of precise shot making. Why then did batters stop using the scoop? Comment below and stay tuned to Wicket to Wicket.